It depends on where you place yourself in uh, the timeline of his decision. Obviously, if you look back just two months ago, uh, when the first voting got under underway in Iowa on February 3rd, no one would have expected that uh, uh, Bernie Sanders would have dropped out uh, in uh, early April. And uh, that is a huge uh, surprise because he was seen as a very strong uh, contender. But then uh, that really seems like a lifetime ago, and so much has happened since then. First, uh, there was the political aspect of it. Uh, because we saw uh, Joe Biden about a month later really uh, coming back into the race and that surge, that Joe momentum uh, that saw him sweeping all of those states and really gaining that huge delegate uh, lead. And that's really the situation uh, that uh, was happening right before this outbreak really uh, froze everything here on the political landscape uh, in the U.S. with the coronavirus really uh, canceling all in-person campaigning, all big political uh, rallies. And basically, those two candidates were uh, stuck at home uh, trying to uh, get to their supporters uh, through uh, virtual conferences. Uh, but that was simply uh, not the same. And Bernie Sanders had already an uphill battle to try to overturn that uh, Joe Biden lead. And without being able to campaign, he just felt uh, like there was no uh, way uh, back. And that given the situation, given the seriousness of the situation, uh, he felt that he had to drop out because he had no chance and staying in uh, just uh, made things a little bit more difficult for everyone given uh, the situation with coronavirus.